the ILM Comprehensive Helmet Testing Laboratory can directly conduct global mainstream safety testing experiments. Currently, our engineers are doing a fixed point test. Fixed point tests indicate whether the helmet is safe if pressure is put on the front, back, left, right. After determining which point is being tested, the experiment can begin. First, the helmet is pulled up to a distance of about 4 meters, or 13 feet, and then is dropped. Now, the helmet is inspected for damage. The helmet has not sustained any extensive damage. Wonderful. Then there is the flat point test. To complete this test, the helmet is pulled up to about 3.6 meters, or 11 feet, and dropped. And the impact points are marked. Next is the curb impact test. To complete this test, we will use the right point of the helmet. The helmet is pulled up to a distance of about 3 meters or 10 feet and then dropped. There is no issue with the helmet at all. Next, there is the degree of impact test for the forehead of the helmet. Again, the helmet is pulled up to a height of about 3 meters or 10 feet and dropped. There is a slight crack, but the helmet is overall undamaged. Now we have the chin point impact test. For this test, the helmet is pulled to a height of 2 meters or 7 feet and dropped. Again, the helmet has not sustained vital damage. Now we will test the back of the helmet. The helmet is pulled up 2 meters or 7 feet and dropped. The helmet has not sustained any vital damage and has passed the test. We have the chin strap test. This is to look at the amount of stretch that happens to the chin strap in the event of a crash. Before shipment, the quality inspection engineers here at ILM will conduct more rigorous sampling inspections based on more dimensions such as the model size and the delivery rate so that we have a pass rate of 100%. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching.